So we're inside the Dragmobile at the beginning of this video for a reference point. This is my car, it's a Juke, and I always drive around with a little Skullanimals bat in the front of my windshield. And I don't actually want to pull him off because he's kind of stuck, his face sticks. Here we go. So he never moves, which is awesome, but this is my little uh, bat in my car, and now that we have recently purchased the Draculina, her first car, which she needed for university purposes, I figured she could use an avatar all of her own, and it looks like she has overheard me making this video, so I got you this! So this is like the Monster High equivalent, I guess, and it's Sir Hootsalot, and he's a bat. So, so cute. he is also a nocturnal. Ha ha ha. <laughs> but, um, here, do you want to unbox him? Sure. So, I guess he's the ghoul's pet. Property of Ghoulia Yelps. Ghoulia Yelps. Hey. Got him. Okay. Yeah, sure. You have a lightsaber? I might. On your keys? I might. That's kind of cool. They boxed him up really well. Well, he is a bird. If he was not secure, he would fly away. So, like he made, obs. He made a pretty good point there. It looks like he is one of three in the series. There's also a dog and a bat. What's the bat's name? I don't... Count Fabulous. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad we did not get that one. That's a little too... Too, too redonkadonk for me. Too much. I couldn't take a bat seriously if its name was Count Fabulous. But he's so fabulous. Oh, man. Yeah. You might just have to tear into it at this point. You are the slowest unboxer in YouTube land. I know! My little milk drinker arms. Well, that was less than helpful. Yeah, we got there. Almost. Tied in there. We're stuck in there. It's got all of these little things. He looks much smaller once he's coming out of the box. Well, it's good. That way you won't take up, like, any real visibility in your dashboard. Wow, he is just the most secure. His little wing's still in there. <laughs> yep. It's a good thing I hopped in for the assist. Bringing years of unboxing talent to the team. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So, there you have him. What do you think? He's about the size of... He's about the size of your bat. Look at him, look at Here, we'll boy. compare real quick. Best part. He looks a little bigger. No, they're about the same size. They're about the same size. So can you tell that the Monster High and the not or the uh, Skull Animals brands are competing on a very real vector yet? Because they are. They are. Alright, well we'll get him installed and then that'll be the end of the review. But obviously the Draculina likes him so he can't be a terrible stuffed animal because she is a very uh, particular taste when it comes <laughs> to her fuzzy buddies. Alright, commence the installation. I find it's easier when their bodies are tucked up underneath them like they're doing a crunch. Your owl does not want to do a crunch. Oh no, he doesn't have the sticky head part that my bat does. Oh my gosh, why is this so hard? We might have to Velcro him in place. Maybe. Alright, I have a new solution. In the back? Nope. At least for this trip. God, you almost look seen with all your fun stuffed yeah. animals. <laughs> The Draculina is a proud gothette. Don't let anybody tell her different. There we go. Alright. Oh, you can put them both in. The old razzle-dazzle. And now he can cover them like homies.
Like homies. Alrighty. See you later. Have fun at school. Bye.